Okay, and welcome back. I just wanted to give a little update on how the Defender did on its 3,000 mile journey to Big Bend and back. The first place I wanna start, which probably most people are curious about, is this broken window. So previously, before I left on the trip, I broke this window out when I was installing the mount for the Rotopax. The bracket for the Rotopax was too thick and when I bolted it on without the correct spacer, it broke the window out. I taped the window up and then put a black piece of vinyl over it. It looks like it held up over the last 3,000 miles, even though it was raining a lot of the time. And I didn't have a single person ask me about it, so nobody even noticed that that window was broken. That side window is not the only glass that's broken now. On the trip, I did crack the windshield. It's hard to see here on the camera. The crack runs all the way down to here. Looks like I got a rock chip right here. But this is real common for Land Rovers, Broncos, Jeeps. If you own one of those type of vehicles, you're used to getting broken windshields. And I think every Defender on our trip got a broken windshield. The Defender is still covered in mud and dirt from Big Bend. I haven't washed the vehicle at all yet. Some people were asking me about the dirty solar panel. Now my solar panel did get dirty on the last day because I had set my dirty tent up here to dry it for a little bit, but I don't think that it affected it too much. And the dirt on the camera looks a lot worse than what it does in person. I did wash the panel off a couple times during the trip and it performed well. I had no problems with the solar panel. One thing that did surprise me at Big Bend, I had on my limb risers and you'd think, well, in the desert, the trees, most of the trees there were only a foot or two tall. Well, there was actually a swampy section with a deep mud hole that we went through and my limb risers were put to use, bringing the limbs along the track up and over the car. So I was happy that I did get to use them. So that just goes to show that you never know when these things are going to come in handy. When we were in Marfa, Texas, we stopped at Truckland for a photo op and I did hit a stump, so this is bent up just a little bit. I pushed the stump, it was a pretty big stump, probably about two feet in diameter, and I pushed it at least two feet along the ground. So I'm pretty happy with the little bit of damage that you see here, and it's not really damaged, it's just bent a little bit. Most of this is just rubber anyways. When we were in Big Bend, we dropped down into a creek crossing, seen here. When I hit that rock, it just scraped a little bit of this plastic piece, so I got off a lot better than some of the other people, such as this Defender in front of me. And on our way up Christmas Mountain, I got a little too close to a rock, so I put these scratches in here. A little paint pan will clean this up but I might eventually raptor line or bed line these side pieces and that should make them about indestructible. I was really glad that I had installed this extra light bar even though we didn't really need it at night. Having these amber lights on for all of the driving in the rain that we did did make me feel an extra sense of security knowing that I did have a bright yellow light uh, coming through the rain so that people could definitely see me. Up on the roof of the vehicle, I had my Pelican case that was full of stuff. This was very, very handy. And I think having a Pelican case that's twice as big as this might even be a little better. Also up here is a, a table and some folding chairs. And I didn't even take those down the entire trip. This was partially because we were doing mostly driving. And when we got to camp, it was getting dark and we didn't stay up. We didn't do a lot of actual camping as far as sitting around and enjoying our campsite we would set up our campsite and go to sleep wake up early in the morning and get back on the road 
The Pelican case shifted around just slightly. It hardly moved at all. I'm happy with my decision of not putting a full Pelican case mounting system up here. I like the ability to just quickly pull these straps and then I can take this down and then the vehicle will be short enough that I can put it back in my garage at my house. Let's get these roto packs off and see how it's mounted to the roof rack. If you are not familiar with these, you just give them a quarter turn and then they come loose. This one is full of water, so I will have to put the phone down to lift this off. Here's what the full dual roto packs mount looks like. And I can just unscrew this entire thing and take it off. I have to be careful when I pull it to my garage, but I'm hoping that I can leave this on here and the vehicle will be short enough that I can pull it in my garage so that I can just leave this here. I was running the rear door table from Lucky 8 Off-Road and this is just a lifesaver. This was so handy. I used this more than anything else, but as you can see, it broke. During the trip home, the bolt that held the hinge on that side together sheared. This still can hold a lot of weight like it is, but I do need to put a new bolt over there, so not too impressed with that. There were some pretty fancy rear door tables that I saw at Destination Defender. Some with cutting boards that slid out right here. And I would recommend getting one of those rather than this one here. I'm a little torn if I want to leave a Rotopax mounted to the side of my Defender all the time. And if I do, which one and which color? Well, they make these containers for gasoline, diesel, and water. But I also got this black one. And this is actually a storage container. So if we open this one up, inside is a big storage area I can put air hoses, gloves, dirty things inside here that I don't want to be inside my main vehicle. And since this is black, maybe it won't stand out as much on the side of the vehicle. And this is what I could be using when I don't want gasoline mounted to the side of my vehicle. So let's put this on there and see what it looks like. This is my first time seeing it mounted up there and I think that looks pretty good. So for those times when I don't need to carry fuel or water on the side of my truck, I can just leave this storage one there, and I think it looks pretty good. The only other takeaway that I have from this trip is that I took way too much stuff. Of course, I had no idea what to expect, so I was prepared for anything, but I took way more food, probably 10 times more food than I needed. If we were camping and we were needing to cook for all of our meals, I think I did take the right amount of water with me and then the roto packs that I had with me. But when it comes to every other supply, I think I had way more stuff than I actually needed. So that's going to be my one tip to myself for the next trip. Don't bring as much stuff as you did. If you need it, you can pick it up along the way.